Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa and welcome to all my new subscribers. In today's video, we are going to be doing a beautiful fall DIY with this beautiful wooden truck from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. So here are some of the supplies I'm going to be using today. Some of this beautiful fall colors uh, from Primal Flow. We're going to do some pouring. And I got, of course, I love this Acrology paint from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be using some of this Nouveau like glitter paste. And I'm going to be adding a few extras as well. So, of course, I'm going to start off pouring on the truck and the pumpkins and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint with my brush. So let's get started. All right, so first I'm going to be pouring on this beautiful truck. I just mixed some cranberry color and this beautiful glam red color and of course I'm running out of this paint because I use it so much and I'm just going to be pouring all over the truck and if you do not pour, I just want you to know, of course, you can get some paints from the Dollar Tree. But of course, if you have paints in your house already, you can use what you have and you can make it any color you want. I just wanted to do this traditional red truck for the fall. I think it's gorgeous. This pickup truck with the pumpkins in it. So I'm just going to tilt the wood piece just a little bit now if some gets on the other sections that's fine because once the paint dries we could paint right over it so i'm just tilting until all the little sections are covered and that's pretty much for that part so let's go on to the pumpkins all right so i have some pumpkin colored paint and some coral color I just mix those two up and then again I'm going to be pouring all over this little cute cut out pumpkins there so adorable and I'm just going to color them really really well and again if it gets on the other parts of the truck no biggie I'm going to wait until everything dries really really well and then I am going to paint the other sections And now I'm just going to tilt a little bit. So with the tilting, of course, I'm expecting some drops on the other sections. And I'm just tapping out the little sections there that I didn't quite get. And I'm probably going to use a brush to really get in there. Um, the more detail and the more you cover, the more it looks like you bought it yourself. You bought it from a store and didn't make it yourself. And I'm just going to wait 24 hours and let this part dry. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to paint the other sections. And then, of course, I'm going to add one of these beautiful pumpkins. And I'm going to add some of this Nouveau glitter paste, like I said before, in this beautiful fall color. So I'm going to let this dry. And Hey, guys. So if you could see here, I already started painting... Uh, the little section right underneath the pumpkins my wonderful camera went out of focus so i just said you know what i'm gonna take that little clip out and what i also did was i poured over some of those wood acorns from the dollar tree with some leftover paint but anyway so i'm taking that gorgeous deep green paint with my brushes from artsy fartsy lover stacy nicole i love these brushes i use them all the time and I use the deep green under the pumpkins and of course on these sections here right near the wheels. So I'm just going to paint that real quick. Now this paint um, will definitely take, I'm going to say two coats, maybe three. But with you guys, I'm just going to do one coat so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just trying to get into every little crevice. I'm going to really, off camera, I'm going to go in real detail and then cover up like the sides 
in every little section so it really looks you know right from the store and really professionally made not that i'm not a professional artist but you know that it, it's really um perfect from the store so now i'm gonna go in with some black paint with another brush and i'm just going to cover all those sections of the wheel get in there really really well and all the little crevices and all the little sections there just cover up all that wood and again you can make this any color you want you want to do an all pink truck purple rainbow whatever you want to do i just these are the colors i was feeling it is fall and i'm loving it so now i'm just going to go over this other um, wheel and if you hear me sniffling i do apologize i have horrible fall allergies so now in the last section i'm going to take another brush i'm just going over the green a little bit and now i'm going to use a brown color now this color definitely needs a couple of coats it's a pretty for a darker color it's kind of on the thinner side but we're going to go over that anyway with some of that nouveau um glitter paste and accidentally i dipped my brush in the black so that little wheel section is a little darker a darker brown but i'm gonna add a little bit here but again i'm gonna go over it with the beautiful nouveau glitter paste so i'm going to give two or three coats and i will be back i'm going to add the pumpkin and the paste all right guys so these little acorns i had some extra paint and that's with the beautiful glitter paste on the tops of the acorns the little crowns there so cute they came out really adorable so i'm taking some of this glitter paste here everything is dry and i'm just going to put it right in the center there where the wheel is like the hubcap little section there and I'm gonna leave a little bit of the brown showing for a little contrast but I just want to add a little bit of sparkle not too much and we're gonna do the other wheel and this looks really pretty it's a beautiful contrast between the brown and the black and that beautiful deep green and I'm just tapping it on I do like texture so I just want to give it a little bit of texture and a little bit of glitter. All right. So cover that up. And now I'm getting the pumpkin and I'm just going to hot glue it right there. Now I, after I was done with this, I said, well, I should have glued it to the tops of it and not to the side. But then if it, it when you hang it, it would have been flush with the wall. But let's just pretend that this pumpkin is fully out of the truck, okay? But I love these little pumpkins. And I have one more left out of the set. And I can't find any more. So, so there that is. The beautiful glitter. And the whole truck is painted with now the glued on pumpkin. And of course the last piece and the last step is putting back on the twine. And I love this twine because it has a little um end to it and it's very easy to get through the hole of the wood the pre-made hole and you just stick it in pull it out and there you have your beautiful fall red truck i love this i love the colors i think it's beautiful and bright and i really hope you enjoyed it and really all you need if you have paint if you have brushes if you have glitter all you need is the red truck and you can make it the way you want it so thank you guys so much for watching today i really really appreciate you i appreciate you watching i hope you have a beautiful beautiful fall day and if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos and i will see you in the next one bye